about. Good morning. For today's itinerary, it's only gonna be the Vatican. But I've heard like the tour is pretty long. I'm just going on a self-guided tour, so I reserved tickets and audio to go with it. I might meet some people that I met at like an airplane um, on my way here for dinner today. They're like Korean, um, but they seem like very nice, sweet, early 20s people. So we said, hey, let's go on a matchup tour or like, let's go like find some really good restaurants that aren't too touristy in Rome. So that might be also in the schedule. Oh my god, I'm going out of breath because I'm sort of like squatting while I'm taking this video. So this is really great exercise, but at the same time, oh my god, my thighs are burning. Okay, I'll see you guys at the Vatican. It's like 10 a.m. right now, so it's gelato for breakfast. I have gelato for lunch and gelato for dinner. I got, I wanted to play it safe on my first day, so I got eggnog, chocolate, and pistachio. All flavors you guys are familiar with, but it's so good. It's so refreshing for some reason, although it's milky ice cream. Hey guys, we're in the middle of... Actually, I'm not really sure where we are. We are in front of Basilica de Saint Peter's. I don't know in Italian. But as soon as you get here, you feel like, wow. Oh my god, they're ringing the bell! <laughs> As soon as you step foot into the plaza, right in front of the church, you just feel like, wow, I am in Rome. Like, it, it feels like I just walked into an outdoor museum because there's like statues everywhere of like saints. What a surreal experience. Oh my god, the weather's so nice today. And you know, people say like, beware of pickpocketers. I haven't met any pickpocketer yet. And everyone seems so nice in Italy. As long as you say grazie and ciao. Everyone's super nice. So um, now I feel like, what was I anxious about? But I don't want to jinx it too quickly because I might get pickpocketed very soon. Okay, next, the Vatican. in the morning eating gelato so I'm actually really tired <laughs> and I feel like maybe I'm not really a museum person because I thought I would like the Vatican Museum St. Peter's Basilica and the plaza was super nice but I don't know the museum just feels so dead to me maybe I just like people I'm trying to find the most handsome statue that one? Statues. Statue. Who has the most handsome face? No. I see you. Apparently, that's Perseus holding on to Medusa's head. I thought Medusa would have more snakes on her head. Look. You see, like, little snakes on her head. I really like the details of the cloth. It makes it look like a real cloth, although it's made out of marble. Ooh, oh, very beautiful domes. I've been like walking along this corridor for the last 30 minutes and I still don't know where the Sistina Chapel is. They should have more seats so like people can rest during the whole journey. This is a super big museum. Done with the Vatican tour. Oh my god, that was one of the longest. 
best tours ever. The place was huge, so I think you need at least two hours in there. Um, if you're super into history and sculpture and museums, more than three hours. Yeah, but it was worth it seeing the Sistine Chapel. My neck was like gonna yeah. break in the end because like I was like looking up at the ceiling and I wonder how did Michelangelo draw that thing on the ceiling? That huge fresco! All those frescoes like that. One thing I also sort of felt was like wow um, all these past popes centuries ago in the Catholic Church uh, they really liked investing in paintings and gold but I'm really happy with the way the Catholic Church is moving towards now um, away from all the riches and going closer to the poor I hope that's the direction that they'll keep taking to re-energize I'll go even for dessert, coffee or tiramisu for something in my stomach <laughs> see you guys I just wanna let you know Behind the mirrors and all that smoke Promises and alibis I don't believe, I don't believe Told me you would change my world Now I know what you are worth Gone and lost your hold on me I don't believe, I don't believe Happy acting like a fool Oh my god, you guys, it's so cold in Rome right now Rome in November is like winter. It's so cold that I've come to a shopping street. So I think the shopping street has like H&M and Zara, you know, global spa brands. So here I go. Okay, if you want to pack for a November trip to Europe, pack super uh, like, like, oh my God, my brain froze because it's so cold. Pack super warm clothes. So, end of day two in row. Um, I think I'm good for pizza and pasta now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold here, which I heard that it's the rainy season in November in Rome So if you're planning a trip here bring an umbrella and like super thick clothes because it is freezing uh, It might be something to do with me being Asian, but when it gets super cold and chilly I crave soup my body craves super hot soup especially in Korea kukba which is like rice and all of these kind of like vegetable pantan and soup <gasps> boiling steaming soup so i'm like done with flowery food right now like i don't think my body can take it anymore i splurged a lot today because it just got so cold after going to the vatican so i went into like h&m and zara and realized prices are not that different but since they're in euro I think it's actually more expensive than Korea um, just because Euro is super expensive now, currency-wise Shopping haul! I got this coat because it got so cold So, ta-da! Now I'm warm Does it look super warm? I don't know if you guys can see like the texture of it right now, but it's like fluffy and warm. This was on sale, so I got these. It was super cute. Ta -da. Sort of does look like accessories that's like stuck to your curtain. And I got these super cute Christmassy looking earrings. 
I thought those were cute too. Last but not least, for those of you who said yes on my Instagram story, I got... Drum roll please. Do, 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 do. This! <laughs> Now I look like a full black curtain here. I don't think this hat is really Italian, so it's more French, right? But I'm getting prepared for Paris. But buona notte. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>